when you need to archive something in Viz Artist, the process will be same whether it be Artist 3.0 or 3.5. And what we have is an archive button here on the main toolbar in the user interface. Now when we click on this archive button, it opens up a blank window. At this point, we can come over and start dragging things into this window to actually archive them. So if I want to take a scene, I can take a scene and just drag it into this window here. Now it gives us a little S icon, which stands for scene. Now our entry point up here is also set to scene, so that's why it's showing up. Had I had it changed to object, we wouldn't see anything. So if we are always archiving scenes, we can change it to scene or we can just change it or keep it to all and that will show up every time we drag anything into this archive window. Now if you're not familiar with archiving it actually is creating a compressed file or a zip file if you want to think of it that way and what it's doing is taking everything within this scene so if this scene has materials, images, or objects associated with it it's going to package them up and take it with it. However we can drag still individual parts to it so if we wanted particular images to be archived as well we could take any image that we want and drag it over here also we can do the same with objects so if there's a particular object that you want to archive within this particular archive as well we can do that so once we have elements here we're ready to save it and if you want to see the folder view as well you can change this instead of entry point view there is a folder view so once we change it to folder view, it shows you all the folders. Now, if you actually wanted to take a whole folder over, we could drag this over. And now it took that whole folder. When it takes the whole folder, there may be things within these folders that are scattered about your server. So it's also going to take those folders too, so that it keeps this structure. Now, once we're ready to archive, we have down here at the bottom, a little navigation button which we can click on and we can choose a location where we want to save this and we can just give it a name that we want to choose too. So if I choose archive and we can give it a date here and we'll hit OK and then it tells you archive was created where it was created at. Now if we want to go reverse and actually bring this archive in we can go to import I can navigate to where I saved it and here it says the archive here and if we click on it, it shows you all the individual elements that we put in there.